Hands-on learning can provide a unique experience and chance to learn about the natural world. The National Park Foundation and corporate partners Nissan, Titan, and REI are making it possible for the Student Conservation Association crew to be at the Indiana Dunes National Park and gain hands-on learning in addition to helping to preserve the park. So today we're out here uh, in Cowles Bog at the Indiana Dunes and we're just doing a little bit of uh, native plant species uh, planting. And so we're out here planting a couple of uh, native grasses um, that are good for the wetlands. And we're doing that because uh, just to encourage more uh, biodiversity. Uh, a lot of people don't know this, but it's really cool that uh, the dunes are one of the most uh, biodiverse areas in the entire planet. And so uh, we're just making sure that we uh, preserve that, conserve that, and uh, get some work done here. So today, myself and the rest of the crew, we are out here at Cole's Bog. Um, at the Indiana Dunes National Park. We are going to be planting a variety of native plant species, mostly Carex stricta, Carex aquatilis, and some Carex chrysotella as well. Um, and we're out here doing that to preserve the biodiversity of this area. So we are a crew of 12. Uh, there are two co-leaders, co Stephanie, Teresi, and I are both from the Chicago area. And then we have 10 members, all local from the Lake and Porter counties. So it's great to get out here and get this hands-on experience, especially if you don't have any sort of background in conservation. Um, we welcome people of all education levels, and it's great to just come out here and really see firsthand what we're doing. Uh, it's a great way to really make that connection to the importance of the work that we're doing. There are a lot of issues going on with our environment right now, and it's super important to engage the youth because it's their future. Um, and so by empowering and connecting them through hands-on field work, we're allowing them the opportunity to feel okay with facing these issues, having a sense of accountability, and taking action. The Student Conservation Association works hard to inspire students of all ages and backgrounds to conserve their environments, and introduces them to potential careers in the industry. Yeah, so um, SEA uh, stands for Student Conservation Association. And um, one of the things that they're big on is uh, raising um, and developing the next layer of uh, conservation leaders. And so here we have uh, an older group uh, from 18 to 25, um, but they work with um, high school age students as well. Um, and again, just trying to um, educate on uh, different environmental um, topics going on or uh, conservation, a lot of conservation, um, and just kind of introducing different um, jobs in the conservation field. So by working hands out out in the field, we're expanding their environmental awareness and also raising their environmental literacy so they can feel more comfortable in pursuing a career in the environmental field or in whatever field that they choose and just living more eco-friendly overall. At the rate at which our climate is changing and things are speeding up, it's really important to conserve our natural environment and the way that it's supposed to be. Um, this is going to help just make our air quality and our water quality better for this area. So it's really important for us to preserve the native plants that are here already. For me here, um, I've worked on two crews. And uh, one of the cool things about here is like I grew up in Northwest Indiana, um, been here around the dunes, but I didn't necessarily know um, how big it was. I kind of thought it was actually kind of small because I've only went in at one access point. Um, and just kind of seeing how much histories went into it. So just kind of bringing that like back to home of like where we are, how unique it is, and um, how privileged we are to even, you know, just be out here today. So it's pretty cool.